Hello, Nick Samet from Rushmore Painting and Decorating and today I'm going to be giving you a product review on behalf of the Trade Decorator product review team. Myself, one fussy bloke, is going to be reviewing two fussy blokes microfiber mini roller sleeves. So a few weeks ago they sent me out a few options to try which were the red for fine finish work, also known as smooth, and the green for semi smooth, they're color coded on the boxes. The roller sleeves themselves are also colour coded on the cartridge ends so you know which ones they are when they're outside of the box. I've tried them out in a few products over the last few weeks, some from Benjamin Moore, some from Ticarilia, some from Isomat and some from Caparol, just to name a few, and they have both performed exceptionally well. Four things I really like about these microfiber roller sleeves, and number one is the fact that when loading them onto a traditional style roller frame they go on and off nice and easily there's nothing worse than struggling to put it on and then when you finish using it pulling it off and making a mess with paint everywhere and also when they are on they spin freely there's no jamming and sliding around and i think that's partly due to the fact that the internals or the workings inside of it are just well made and well thought out so they're a pleasure to work with in that point. Number two is they are ready to use on fine finish work straight out of the box really. After giving them a quick spin around in water which reduces the amount of lint and fluff that might come off of it and also they um, that enables the paint to load up better onto the, the roller sleeve. Once you've done that they're ready to go. There's no lint that gets left on the surface or you know in the paint, which can happen even with some of the higher quality microfiber roller sleeves that are available. They sometimes still need to be used in other paints that aren't fine finished just to wear them in and get rid of that lint that comes off of them, whereas these don't. Number three is that they hold a ton of paint, which is great for doing large surfaces where you're doing window sills and doors and stuff. You want to just be able to get on with it and not have to worry about the wet edge drying out when you keep going between the you know, the pot of paint and the, the surface. So that enables you to get a, a much more desirable finish. And also microfiber roller sleeves are supposed to be the closest thing to a spray-like finish. And there is some truth in that. They are, you know, you can achieve that, but there are a few factors that that determine whether you're going to get that finish or not and a few of those factors are temperature, porosity of the surface, the quality of the paint, um, how thick it is, how thin it is etc. So if you're working with cheap paints in high temperatures you're less likely to get a great finish. With these you'll still get a great finish but it won't be as close to a spray like finish as you expect so you need to make sure that every you know factor is you know on your side. So use good quality paints make sure that the you know the radiators are off in the room or something like that or that there's not it's not too hot and then you've got a better chance of getting a great finish and i've had some fantastic results with these where not only has the customer been super happy with the finish and impressed that it is left as just a roll of finish but also i've been happy to leave it at that and i'm quite pernickety so if it's not good enough i won't leave it but with these i was more than happy to leave this as the final finish and it produced fantastic results as I said. Number four is the fact that they clean out really well. Super easy to clean out. Um, you know, they, they hold a lot of paint but it doesn't take a lot of time to get rid of that paint. A couple of minutes per sleeve which means you can be getting on with more important things which is great. So a few things or one thing, I don't think there's many things I could change about this or none at all really apart from one. And like I said, it's the arm style roller they use. Um, it's quite an old-fashioned um, way of doing it as a lot of manufacturers now are moving to a, a mini cage style system where the core fits on like a like a big roller frame but on a mini version and I feel that that could be something they could do um, but it's not a massive deal because they work so well on the on just the arm um, but I think if you know they want to appeal to other decorators as well then maybe that might prevent them selling them to those decorators because they might feel that they prefer that style of system. But that's just um, one thing that I feel that could be improved. So on an overall you know, scale of out of 10, what would I give it? I would give it a solid 9.5. And the 0.5 that hasn't been given is purely based on the fact that I feel that some decorators won't buy it 
based on the fact that it's a arm style system rather than a mini cage style system but apart from that they're absolutely fantastic microfiber sleeves would i buy them if they're on the on the uk market which they will be very soon yes i will paint shack will be uh supplying them very soon and hopefully other painting merchants will uh will be supplying them as well because they deserve a spot in the uk and for uk decorators to to try them out so um that's my review on the Two Fussy Blokes microfiber roller sleeves. Head over to YouTube to follow Trade Decorators videos, product reviews, and also on the website www.trade-decorator.co.uk. Uh, also on the Trade Decorator social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Trade Decorator again. And also my personal stuff, I'm on YouTube, YouTube Rushmore Painting and Decorating. I'm on Facebook, Rushmore Painting and Decorating, and also Instagram and Twitter, Rushmore100. And hope you like the video and see you soon. Thank you.